What's up, people? Jacob here again. Today, we're going to be working on the RX-7 again on the engine. This time, we're going to do a mod. Uh, not really a mod. It's more like a... Uh, I know it's going to be about at least a 35 horsepower increase. About there. I mean, it's... it's I'm talking about the fan itself. Now, come here, look, and you see, I have, still have the stock fan in there. It's a clutch type fan. And um, I just recently saw a video, uh, Engine Masters, under episode 20, I think it is, and they talked about uh, fans, and um, engine fans, that what they, uh, take away, you know, from the engine power and everything. And they showed a viscous type like this, clutch fan. Uh, it takes about 17 horsepower to spin that fan, spinning it around, when it's not even engaged. And they were only revving the engine up to five grand. So on, and then they did another test as well on a fan, you know, running direct. And that fan up to five, 5,000 RPM, it was pulling about almost uh, 35 horsepower off the power of the engine. And when I saw that, I, I couldn't believe how much, you know, th this fan actually robs from power of the engine. I mean, it, alone, I mean, I'm, I'm tacking up to almost seven grand every time I shift, you know, when I'm really in spirited driving and, you know, I'm losing close to 40 horsepower, you know, from an engine that, you know, only produces maybe about 200, you know, all bridge ported out and everything. I mean, I haven't dynoed it yet, but I know, I mean, I'm losing a lot of power. I mean, I can physically feel it when I'm driving it and like it's real warm outside and uh, I get into it and it just, it doesn't feel like the same, you know, and then some days when it's nice and cool out and I take it out and I don't even hear the fan engage it it feels a lot more better, you know? And then when it's warm, I'm like, man, did this really doggy. And, um, but, uh, I'm gonna get on that. I got a new fan for it. So I'll be unboxing that and showing you everything we got for this job. All right, let's get on it. All right, here we go. This is the package. Came in. Nice fan, 16 inch. All right, let's get to unboxing this thing right now. Let's see what's Yeah. Very gently. Okay. I'll set this up here for now. A couple other goodies. Uh, I still gotta make a bench. Not here, but it's a whole kit I ordered. Uh, so here. Okay, these are the Connector, uh, not connected, but the straps you put to put the fan in the radiator. And this is a whole relay with the thermostat. So it'll come on automatically. Now, I probably put, will wire up a switch as well so I could turn it on manually. You know, if I wanted to leave it on direct. But then I'll probably just leave it with the. Uh, there's a fuse in there too. Pretty nice. Okay, and there's a little breaker there too for the main power. And then I'll it so. I went and measured my radiator before I ordered this. So I went and got the 16 inch because I had about 17 inches and 17 by 18 which is the radiator. So I got this one to get the most surface area. So set that. Going from this power robin clutch type fan. And I mean, you can see it. See it. I mean, it's free flowing, but they said just like that, they had in the test, 
and he was using about 17 horsepower to spin that at 5,000 RPM. And when engaged, it's about the 35 horsepower. So I'm gonna free up some power, because always more power equals to more broken parts. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna start getting this all ripped apart. Uh, I'm gonna get the fan out. And then I'm gonna see if I can undo the shroud without undoing that upper radiator hose. There should be enough room once I get the fan out. And then I see the, the bolts are long enough or I have to show them or get some other bolts to uh, bolt the fan hub down there. Eliminate that, but I'll be eliminating all this. Put an electric fan in and then wiring it up. All right, let's see. Oh, I don't wanna block the light. Okay, get in here, one ten millimeter. Break these loose. I broke that one loose. I put my ratchet there because it kept on trying to bar over. Let me just let me get some more lighting in here, but break them loose. Let me get these four off here. Shoot. Okay. So I'm finished getting these four off here. Get the fan out the way. There it is. Get the fan out the way. Then we'll get on the shroud. Okay, got the fan and the shroud out. Now it came out as a unit. I mean, I had to do the fan first and then I was able to lift and then undo the shroud and then lift it all out as one. And then that spacer piece, that's what the fan hub bolts to. And it bolts through there. Now the bolts that went through this, they're long. They go into the fan hub. So, Got lucky, uh, got some shorter bolts. That those are the ones that came right here, and they fit right on there. And you gotta be careful though, because if, if the bolts are too long, because I had one bolt that was a little bit too long, like that one, and um, uh, it doesn't allow it to rotate. But I mean, you can see it's. I built, I loosened them up a little bit to make it easier on me, but. All right, that part's done. Now I gotta clear ample room. Get mounting the fan down. All right, let's get to that part. Now this fan here, it has these tabs on it, but they're, I don't know, I, I think they're kind of thin. So I also brought these, they go. They go right on, and they push down. So I did that one. And you can see it's just off a little bit. So what I'm gonna do with these tabs here, I brought these little stick on foam things. So I'm gonna put these sticky in, you know, like that, touching here, so it just doesn't wear into the radiator. And then, um. Very simple, I just take these and they push through. Now I'm not sure if I'm gonna use the spring. Get the springs. I know it's supposed to keep tension on it. I'm gonna use this. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm gonna use these, but might look a little funny, but uh, I'll look at it and make the decision. All right, so we're gonna get this on, attach the radiator. And it's pretty simple, I mean, with these things, you just you push it through and it goes between the fins and it's got a little locking piece here and it clips on, it locks on, and then you trim off the axis. But you you know, for me, I come through this way and push forward and they have the little lockings with the little ends sticking out through there. Cause you won't see that, but this end will look nice and clean. All right. We're gonna get to that now. Look at it now. There goes the glamour shot. Oh, that looks so nice in there. Freed up so much space. And then you can see. Oh, that is nice. I like it. That's gonna free up so much power too as well. 
I just didn't know that the, the fan robbed so much power. I mean, I knew it thought about well, five horsepower or something like that, but if you if you really want to see it, it's just Engine Masters, it's on the Motor Trend channel, episode 20. But look at that. That is beautiful. Oh, can't get enough of it. All right, we got the next step, wiring it in, get it working. Okay, here on the other side of the car, on the relay, it ain't coming no instructions, but looking at it, uh, you get the blue and black wire, and looking at a normal relay, you got the black wire here, that was the ground. It tees off, um, I put it to the bolt here, it had like a little eyelet on it. And um, this wire is the wire that uh, will turn on the relay. And then this is the fuse power that goes into the relay and out from the relay to the fan. So, all right, so now, right now, I'm gonna wire this up to the fan. Got the connector down there. Now, it didn't, the kit didn't bring a connector like this in it. So what I'm probably gonna end up doing I got these uh, male and female spade connectors here with the heat shrink. I'm gonna put those on. I got my strippers, my crimpers, and my torch there. Heat those up, seal that up. So I'm probably gonna cut and out this plug it came with. Yeah, because I don't want no water or nothing getting in there and causing me problems. But you see, it's still the same blue and black. Like I said, the ground's there and then. Went right there, and then this. I'm just gonna run this. Uh, I got it disconnected right now, but yeah, on my positive here, I got an extra terminal, so I can add in. So I'm gonna run the power straight on there, and it's fused right here, which is pretty nice. I'm not sure how many amp fuse it's in here though. All right, we'll get on that. Okay, I'm wiring this up and be. Ready to go. Now also the kit brought this uh, thermostatic switch here. I'm not sure what it's rated at for when it turns on the fan. I was trying to look at it. I don't see no markings nowhere. I'm gonna have to go online where I ordered it and see if it gives in the description of temperature rating when the fan turns on. But yeah, this is where this white wire would connect but I still uh, cause I think this grounds out so I still have to figure out wiring something out to make this work in the circuit cause I have to supply power to this white wire to turn on the relay but this would switch that so I'm not sure. uh, this probably would have to be on the ground because this would not supply power. <laughs> but uh, I'll keep on it. I'm probably gonna do the switch for now or I might just wire it to ignition with a switch. So as soon as I fire it up, it, it is powered up with the switch off and then I just put the switch on. I'll watch the temp, but uh, yeah, we'll do that for now, but I'll, I gotta check further into this before I wire this in. So this will be a later. Plus two, the thread. I think this is a standard thread as well. And you know on these imports, it's a metric thread. So I might have to get an adapter to put this in or figure out some, get one of those ones that they, I mean, I hate to cut my hose and get one of those in between setups, but all right, we continue on. Wiring this up, like I said, I just want to note the, the temperature sensor that's there. I might order an adjustable one, I'm thinking, so I can vary it, so I can have it come on when I want it, the temperature, not just so fixed temp. But uh, I mean, you can see again, it's so good in there. Uh, clean it up real nice. Can't wait to drive it. <laughs> okay, you see now, I got the relay all mounted. Use a little tech screw there. And like I said, the ground's going there with my other ground. 
and then I opened this up. It's a 30 amp fuse it came with. So that's fine. The fan. And I hooked it up right there to my battery positive. And you can see down there, I got the, the wires. I still got to zip tie everything, but just to show you, I use my connectors on there. And I'll zip tie all this up. Really nice. Clean it up. But yeah, you see here, this is the my wire. So this will turn on the relay, which will send power from the battery through the relay to the fan and turn on. Works good. It's an S8 fan plate too. It says it's supposed to move 3000 CFM. Like I said, 3000 CFM. I'm still gonna check on uh, exactly wiring this up and then also the pipe thread too. It didn't say in the description what the temp rating was on that. It just said about the fan, the CFM and everything. 12 volt. It's a pull, it is reversible, but it is designed as a puller. So it's mount, you're supposed to mount it in the inside and suck through the fan like that or pull through the fan. But uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Be more videos on the RX-7. I'm gonna do a uh, second part on the carb tuning. I got some more jets. I'm gonna be installing a power valve block off. And uh, we'll do some more tuning on it. So it's working. I also plan, uh, plan on changing the squirters in it as well. So look forward to that. Part two on Holly Carb tubing tuning on a 12A rotary bridge port. But uh, that's it for now. Stay tuned. Like I said, please like. Helps out my videos and comment. And uh, definitely subscribe if you're a new subscriber um, or somebody new to my video seeing it. Um, I got plenty of other videos on here. Most of the content is ARC-7, but uh, I got a couple of series I'm, I'm starting getting into. Uh, the service truck life, that's my job, it's out there. And then uh, I got a couple other projects coming up. Got the CRV there, we're doing a motor swamp in that. And uh, a Civic build. And that one's gonna be a B18C1. For all you guys, Hondas. Love Hondas out there. I love Hondas too. I love all imports. Love all cars. So keep turning wrenches. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep it alive.